question and our today's question we are going to examine a question on consumer price index and the question states the following data gives the quantities and purchases of items purchased by a certain family for two consecutive years that is year one and year two we have the items a b c and d so each quantity and price are given and then yet we are required to calculate the last pairs Pash and Fisher's ideal price index for year two. That is using the base year as year one. Okay. So I want to explain what is meant by base year and the current year when it comes to price indices. Now, those two terms they originate from what is known as the consumer consumer price index that cpi which basically measures the changes in consumer consumption that is the uh, the changes in the quantity consumed by particular consumers in a sector which is normally accompanied by changes in prices now when we talk about base year we are simply referring to the previous year the previous year that is used for comparison comparison and then of course we are comparing it to what is known as the current year current year which is actually the year the year of study the year of study for example let's say our year two in this case is 2020 and we are comparing the consumption or the qualities that were purchased by these particular consumers we are comparing it to the year 2015. So the year 2015 will become our base year, okay? Then 2020, the current year will become our year two in this particular example. Then we have been told to work out the last pair, last pairs and Pash and Fisher's ideal. So we talk about last pairs. Last pairs, we are simply referring to that price index which measures the changes in the prices of the current year relative to the base year. So we talk about the current year, the current year weights are normally given by what is known as P1, Q1. P1, Q1 stands for the weight. These are the weights. And you weigh this particular price versus the quality which is give us the, the, it will give us the, the expenditure for that particular current year. But if you talk about the base year, we are referring to P0, Q0. That is the base year, okay? That is the previous year that is used for comparison. So for us to get the formula for these last pairs, we simply have the price index according to last pairs is supposed to be the summation of price in current year times quantity in base year divided by the summation of price in base year times quantity in current I mean quantity in base year also now as we can see in this particular equation there is some element of positivity biasness why there is some element of positivity biasness because this formula only relies on the base year and neglecting uh, the, the current quantity. Then we now go to PASH, the PASH formula. Now the PASH formula, we are talking about a price index which actually measures the changes in prices of the base year relative to the current year. Now it is the reverse of the other one. Now, of course, we have this one. The formula for price index according to PASH is supposed to be the summation of the current price of the quality times the quality in the current year divided by the summation of the uh, price in the current year times the quantity in the current year. 
So in this particular scenario, again, we see that the current years, the current weights, now here we have the current weights, current weights, and here we have the base weights. So this one uses current weights, but these last pairs uses base weights. Of course, the weights used in both cases must be the same. They must be derived from either only the current year or the base year and then of course we have some element of negativity here there's some element of negativity biasless why because remember this formula is only rely on the current weight for both the price and the quantity while not considering the price that was the weights that were uh, measured in the what in the base year then of course we go now to the last method which is the fishers ideal and there's a, the reason why it is called the fishers ideal is because actually this particular price index measures the price level of goods over a period of time so it tries to correct the positivity biasness and the negativity biasness in this particular formula. So, in other words, it combines the last pairs plus the PASH price index. And when it does to correct the two, it tries to find out the geometric mean by raising it to actually some level of correctness factor, which is 0.5. This is essentially equivalent to getting the square root of L plus P. And by that one, we are going to have an ideal formula for La, uh, Fisher's ideal uh, price index. So let us now go to the equations directly. And I've simply copy pasted everything into the table. So you are going to have, you are going to get P1, Q1 for when you want to get last pairs. So... P1 is the year 1, uh, year 1 is the base year, so we give it P0, year 2 is, no, it is Q0, year 2 is Q1, then year 1 for prices is P0, you have P1. So P1 times Q0 should be this one times the first one, so 1225 times 1372. 1225 times 1372, we get 1000. We have uh, uh, 1000. Um, well, it's supposed to be 1 million 600. And then you go to the second one, which is basically. 224, 224 times 11,700. We have to 50,000, to 50,208. Then we go to 336, 627,312 Then you go to the last one for item D We have 455 times The price, I mean the times the price for the current year Which is 1552, 1552 We have 706,160 then we are supposed to get the summation, the summation of all this, okay? So that one plus 6, 627, 627, okay, what, 312, 312 plus 350, 208 plus 
the base year weight that is the uh, 1225 1225 times this one 1155 we have 1414875 then we go to 224 times <coughs> line 52 line 52 we have 213 248 you go to 336 336 times this one again 2070 we have 695 520 then lastly we have 455 times 455 times uh, this one here the way 1652 1652 we have 747 110 we get the summation of all this so it's supposed to be plus 695 520 plus 213 248 plus 14 14 you have 875 875 875 we get a value of 3 million so they're supposed to get use the formula for pashes price less according to pashes i mean last pair sorry only last pair supposed to be the summation this is the summation of three two sixty four three eighty divide by um, summation of that, that one is three zero eight three zero eight three zero seven zero seven fifty three and then we get an answer of so we divide three two sixty four three eighty divide by the answer we get one Point six one point zero six three zero five five two. Now, this one means what? So if the value is above one. It means there was a general price increase of six point three percent. Then we go to Pash method. Of course, you have P one Q one. That is P1, of course you have uh, you have Q0, Q1, P0, P1. So P1, Q1 supposed to be this one here, 1407, supposed to be 1407 times 1372, 1372, which is actually 1,930,000. Four zero four. Then we go to three twelve, three twenty two times eleven seven. We have three fifty nine six seventy four. Then we go to three zero one again. Three zero one times two zero seven zero. We have six twenty three. 070. Lastly, we have 462 times 1642. We have 758604. Then we get the summation of this, of all this lambda plus 623, 623, 07 plus 359, 359, 674, plus lastly, 
three million six seventy one seven fifty two. And then you go to the last column. Uh, base prices, uh, current quantity. That is this one, the last two columns now. We have 11.55 plus no times, sorry. Times 13.72 we have 1,584,660 and then we have 9.52 9.52 times 11.7 952 mm, times 1107 11, supposed to be 1,063,384. Then, of course, we have 207, 207, 0 times 1864. 1864, we have 3 million. 858 480 and lastly we have 1642 1642 times 1552 1552 we have 2,548,384 so most importantly we are supposed to get the summation and again the interpretation of this one is going to be very crucial plus 3858 Two two five forty eight five forty eight three eighty four plus three eight five eight eight five eight four eighty plus one zero six three three eight four plus lastly one five eight four six six zero we get oh the same value it's okay zero five fifty four nine zero eight then you use the formula the price index according to Pashis is supposed to be the summation of the of the of the current weight which is three Six seventy one five seven fifty two divided by this is nine zero fifty four nine zero eight. So we get a value of three five seventy one five seventy one seven fifty two seven fifty two. Divide by the answer, we get a value of zero point three nine five. So, a value less than one means there was a general decrease in prices. So, it means the prices versus the quantities were fair. And then we find the Fisher's ideal method which actually tries to correct the positivity in the last pairs and the negativity in the patch using the geometric mean. And he said that when you do that one, you're supposed to get the square root of the last pairs plus patches. And in this case we have is the square root of 1.063 plus 0 0.3 for the patch 0.395 we have a value of so 
zero five five plus zero point three nine five is supposed to have one point four one point four five eight zero five five so essentially getting the square root of this one should be the the features ideal method the square root of the answer should be 1.2 1.207 so when you use this particular now this formula uh, actually tries to cor correct the two errors the two biasless it means that there was a tremendous decrease in general prices when you use the PASH method as you can see the last pairs method which is 1.02 is actually closer to 1.2 compared to 0 0.3 so it means there was some ac accurate in terms of measurement when the last pairs method was used in this particular scenario